It's 600. Bengala stepped out from her doghouse and onto the grounds of her master's estate, her carbon tube tail flex connecting her to the domestic security system, transmitted the same report as it had over the past 48 days. Disturbances, nil. She extended her signal to the satellites and read the temperature of the deep web. The algorithms insisted that an attack on every member of the Ware family, Celia, Kara, Vanessa Bell, and Master Gerald, would occur within the next 40 hours. To Bengala, this portion of clock time equated to 24 days as experienced by the average human. Her seconds were comparable to her master's minutes, her minutes, their hours. She read time in their pulses, body temperatures, hormone secretions. The young ones had it slower, so did sleepers, but neither compared to her processing speed, and though she grew lonely in the long hours that passed between solar days, she felt proud of her capabilities, her silicon brain. <coughs> Hormone secretions, yeah. Her silicon dioxide brain extended her silicon brain extended down her skeletal construction and into her torso cavity. Her job required the excess brain. After all, 28.32% of the United States population appeared on the domestic enforcer dormant threat list. The other 71.6% was a mix of good citizens and subverters. The latter, like snakes on a medusa, seemed to sprout from the portals. And a single head, that of Chester Gave, fearmonger, instigator of chaos, subversive leader. Gave's unedited ultimatum video appeared at 300. Gave's unedited ultimatum video appeared at 307.2 hours ago. Bengala had quarantined 4,000 sick. Bengala had quarantined 46,004 supporting sites since then but the number of dormants threat continued. Bengala had quarantined 46,004 supporting sites since then, but the number of dormant threats continued to shrink. Some shifted to the good citizen category while the majority of others were reclassified as subverters. She played the videos on her internal monitor. In one corner of her vision, a reporter from Channel 6 folded her hands and smiled. Update. Update, she said. The fearmonger Chester Gave released a video this morning demanding that Gerald Ware release the leaders of the Jamestown riot. Update, she said. Update, she said. The fearmonger Chester Gave released a video this morning demanding that Gerald Ware release the leaders of the Jamestown riot. The fearmonger Chester Gave released a video this morning demanding that Gerald Ware release the leaders of the Jamestown riot. Other reporters showed a CGI man in a white jacket. I am Chester Gave, he said. Gerald Ware, the CEO of the prison company Capitan, must either release the protesters or put himself and his family in great peril. Near the bottom, a camera panned over a crowd. It focused on a man ducking behind a sign that read, In prison, Gerald Ware before being struck to the floor by a homeland enforcer in riot gear. Bengala imagined crushing the spine of these subverters, who threatened her master, and from another corner of her vision, more clips streamed. Gerald Ware, the CEO of the prison conglomerate Capitan, has committed a great injustice against his fellow man. Since homeland unrest began, his penitentiaries have swallowed 10,000 since homeland unrest began, his penitentiaries have swallowed... <clears throat> Gerald Ware, the CEO of the prison conglomerate Capitan, has committed a great injustice against his fellow man. Since homeland unrest began, his penitentiaries have swallowed 10,000 men and women whose crimes equate to nothing more than exercising their natural rights. Capitan stock value, which Ware... Capitan stock value, which Ware owns 51% of, hits an all-time high today. Ware has coerced lawmakers into increasing sentence times and expanding the definition of the federal criminal. 
he and his gang of censors have bastardized the definition of a good citizen and replaced it with that of a coward. To the left, to the left, another gave raised his hand and a list of names appeared and scrolled. Until these men and women are released, we may think of the wares as under the threat of self-destruction. Bengala deleted the videos and replaced them with the Channel 6 clip. Regis lashed out with comments about inconsistencies in the reports. She deleted their profiles and reclassified them as subverters. Schneck. She turned towards the northeast quadrant of the grounds, unsure of what had triggered her corporal audio sensors. The 160 degree the 160 cameras around the perimeter reported nothing. Deep within her central synthetic <clears throat> The 160 cameras around the perimeter reported nothing. Deep within her central synthetic system, this disturbed her. Capitan's engineers had not designed her to process. Capitan's engineers had not designed Bengala to process conflicting data. By modeling her off of Rosie, the wearer's formal German shepherd, and supplementing her instincts with connection. By modeling her off of Rosie, the wearer's former German shepherd, and supplementing her instincts with connections to the internet and the domestic security system, the Capitan engineers had created the perfect guard dog. A rat, a blue jay, a withered branch dropping to the grass from seven mile an hour winds. These she understood, but when she scanned the trees in the northeast quadrant for movement, infrared heat signatures, and sound print signals, her instruments returned nothing. Cabadon's default response administered an order. Register slash fall slash alarm dot ne dot quadrant dot o six hundred forty eight underscore return slash two slash station. She refuted it. Bengala would protect her family. Bengala would be a good dog. She sent twenty aerial surveyors. She sent twenty aerial surveyors to circle the exterior of the estate. Then she patrolled the seven-acre perimeter. Bengala passed familiar pools and fountains, tennis courts, and twenty-meter trees equipped with external climate control rods, and echoed the reasons why her job was important. But then. She could not arrest her craving for affection, the impulse that sat cold, waiting since her installment in 84 days and 19.39.91 hours ago. Whenever Gerald paced the grounds without acknowledgement, whenever Gerald paced the grounds without acknowledgement, or Celia stared out the window between news reports, pupils dilating, a prequel to the flight or flight response, the rosy part of Bengala assumed a state akin to pain. But their fears were reasonable. The machine part of her said, Bengala should be feared. Capitan had introduced 15,000 Bengala four prototypes as assistant guards at 2,896 of its prisons. And despite crowded conditions, the dogs had cut down interior violence by 68.4%. As she processed the data from the aerial surveyors, something near a ground as she processed the data from air the aerial surveyors, something near a group of palm trees seized her attention. She ran to it. A half-buried blue and pink chew toy, faded and cracked from the sun. Rosie. Bengala sensed an intimate association within her. Though this was her first encounter with a toy, she cocked her head. As she did, whenever confronted with conflicting experience, consulted the past through an augmented relay of her delivery to the wearer state the greatest moment of her existence.